Two notebooks written by the scientist Charles Darwin have been mysteriously returned to Cambridge University Library nearly 20 years after they were stolen. The books, worth millions of pounds, were in a gift bag with a note, but exactly who took them remains a missing link. Our arts correspondent Rebecca Jones has the story. They're safe, they're undamaged, they're home. Charles Darwin's precious, priceless notepads, which have been missing for more than 20 years. But their return couldn't be more mysterious. They were left anonymously at Cambridge University Library in this pink gift bag, containing the box the notebooks were originally stored in, and an envelope with this simple message. Inside, the two notebooks wrapped tightly in cling film. I was shaking, you can, you can hear that uh, in my voice, uh, and I felt joyful. Did it make you cry? Um, <laughs> can I say that? Um, there have been tears, there have been tears, and I think there still will be because we're not over the emotional roller coaster. It means so much to us to have these home. This is where the gift bag was left outside the librarian's office. But with no CCTV, the library doesn't know who put it there, or indeed where the notebooks have been and why they've been returned now. Like many other buildings, we don't have CCTV in places where people are just regularly just passing through. But our CCTV uh, monitors the front of the building, it monitors the back of the building. So we have passed the CCTV that we have available to the police and that's a matter for their live investigation. Cambridge University Library is huge. There are 130 miles of shelving and the notebooks are tiny. They were last seen in November 2000 when they'd been removed to be photographed. Despite various searches, they never turned up. And 15 months ago, the BBC first highlighted that Dr Gardner thought they'd been stolen and she launched a worldwide appeal to find them. Your help could be critical in seeing the notebooks safely returned. And I would ask anyone who thinks they may know of the notebook's whereabouts to get in touch. Please help. One of the notebooks features Darwin's Tree of Life sketch, which helped inspire his theory of evolution. They're some of the most remarkable documents in the whole history of science. I honestly think, I mean, the, the theory of natural selection and evolution is probably the single most important theory in the life and earth environmental sciences. And this, these are the notebooks in which that theory was put together. Professor Secord is one of many experts to examine the notebooks and confirm they're authentic. Where the clasp is on the notebooks, you can see little bits of copper where it's actually been eroded away. These are the tiny telltale signs that the whole team of researchers at the University Library can use to tell that they're genuine. So many intriguing questions remain though. Where do you think they've been? It is a mystery. They're in good condition, so they haven't been handled much. They've clearly been looked after with care wherever they have been. Um, and the important thing is that they have ended up back here. So while Darwin's ideas helped enlighten the world, the notepads now carry a secret story of their own, a secret which may never be fully revealed. Rebecca Jones, BBC News, Cambridge.